Hi everybody, it is I. It's been more than two weeks since my last vlog. I believe in YouTube speak. That's a cardinal sin because we should be here more often. But it is what it is and I refuse to do penance. What have I been up to? I've been very busy actually. I am adamant. No, I am determined to downsize my life a little bit, which means getting rid of all the paper I've stored since I was 16 years old, etc. And we've made three trips to Goodwill um, with carloads of stuff, and I don't regret it yet. But on Monday, a truck will come and take away this couch there and oh well actually a whole bunch of stuff um, getting rid of my bed which is an old waterbed frame um, a wood four poster waterbed frame that has six drawers in it I will miss the drawers I think but once a waterbed frame bed de is down, it's down forever, and it's a pain in the butt, and I'm we're just getting rid of it. So they're taking that and an old computer from the year when? 1999 that's been down in the basement for a while. And some old luggage, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm going to feel better with that. We get a new bed on Saturday next, not tomorrow. Um, I don't know what to do with a lot of stuff. I have plates and dishes and crystal from my grandmother some of which she brought from England in 1905, or whatever the heck it was. I have my mother's stuff, I have Pat's mother's stuff. And it's just, I'm at a point in my life, I want it all gone. What else has been going on? I have the kitchen counters done. I showed you that. I've been knitting. Do you want to see? I've just made socks. I made this pair. I showed you one of them. I think these are terrific. And look, look at, they're perfectly matched. And that was the yarn. The, oh, the laundry's done. That was the yarn. It, it was, it came all in one hank. And when you wound it up, it had a break in the middle, which concerned me. I didn't like that. And I said to the my yarn local yarn store lady, look, and she says, yeah, that shouldn't be like that. But it was designed that way. Perfect sock. This, and because it was a perfect sock, I had to try another one. I'm not as fond of this sock as I am these socks. But I just finished this one last night and am starting another. Plus, I did frog um, my red wildflower sock, and I finished those two. I had one done, and I had to take one all apart. So those are done. Finally, this was my sock along with Judy and Sue. Done. What else? Um, I have been wanting to talk about... Patrice Vincent and Nathan Cirillo and Kevin Vickers, who have all been in our national news uh, recently, but I don't. Re I have a lot to say, but I'm not sure how to put it. I just know that I was very upset about the actions of a couple of weeks ago, less than a couple of weeks ago, with uh, Patrice being mowed down by a coward in a vehicle, and Nathan 
being mowed down by bullets by a coward in a almost, well, in a revered area. And I think it's, it's disgusting that these things have to happen. And I could say a lot about what the media is referring to as radicalized jihadists. Because I think these are just loser cowards. And Kevin Vickers, our sergeant at arms at our parliament, who is a retired RCMP officer, I think is an extraordinary hero. And I can't even talk about it anymore because I'm just going to cry. I have cried, <laughs> well, it's not funny, but I have cried at our news over the past week and a bit, almost every night when they talk about Patrice Vincent and Nathan Cirillo and Kevin Vickers, and they show the extraordinary footage at Parliament. It makes me wonder, you know, well, thank God this, this coward couldn't get his hands on an automatic weapon and was using a long rifle and only had eight bullets. And that's, well, no, I do have a lot more to say, but I shan't. Um, what else? Um, we uploaded downloaded, installed Yosemite on our iOS 10 Mac Apple product two weeks ago. And it erased, erased, denied us access to a whole bunch of apps that came with the computer. For example, numbers and pages and um, iPhoto, iMovie, and we have been in touch with Apple. We had two, we spoke to two agents to try and get the problems that resulted from Yosemite being installed, which is a new, uh, um, what do they call it, um, operating system. And we talked to two agents, and the last one finally said to us, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do for you. I'm going to refer you to a senior advisor in Apple. And we talked to this Stephanie who's in Nebraska. I don't know how many times. On the Saturday that Pat installed Yosemite, we taught, we were on the phone for six and a half hours with Apple trying to correct the problem. We still have no access to the 15,000, and I'm not teasing about that, 15,000 photos that were in iPhoto. All of our Australia photos, our trips to France and St. Lucia and all kinds of, all, the historical pictures that we've got. And now I'm looking at it as I'm speaking to you. The icon for iPhoto has a big round watermark circle on it with a line through it saying no access is permitted. You didn't purchase this product. Ask me how I feel about that. They are still trying to find the solution. And Stephanie says, the representative in Nebraska, she says that she's trying to get Apple to agree to just giving us another program of another app. Replace our iPhoto app free. Otherwise, we'd have to pay for it again. We never did pay for it. It was a bundle. Then she said we had op purchased an open box which was not true. It's been horrible. So if you're thinking of installing Yosemite, think twice. 
What else do I have? I'm at 10 minutes, so I'm just going to say that's it, that's all.